So let's try and get a question that we can actually do something about. <laughs> this is from F. Ponzani of Northeast Ohio. I want to add some heat in my garage. I'm looking at the Procom brand ventless gas heaters sold by Northern Tool and Harbor Freight, amongst others. These are sheet metal units that can be mounted on the wall. They come in two flavors, radiant heats objects, and blue flame heats the air in the room. I generally understand the difference between the two, but I've been unable to find anybody who can tell me the pros and cons of each type as related to heating an attached garage. I want to keep the temp in the 40s or low 50s and just turn it up when I'm working on a project in the garage. Which is preferred? I'm curious. that I didn't realize the Harbor Freight sold heaters. So I went looking on Harbor Freight's website, and like I couldn't find them $12? either. dollars No, I couldn't find them either, so I don't know if it just there was maybe another brand or what have you that he saw. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what this gentleman's talking about is a sheet metal box, as he suggests, with a burner in it. And one of them is a radiant heater like you see at the big box store near the door, and it uh, is usually hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. you were big talking, orange glow. Yeah, the yeah. orange glowing de uh, square. And then the other kind is a uh, forced air heater. It's got a burner in there and a fan, and it's heating up air and blowing it out the other end. <clears throat> so right. do you guys uh, have a preference f for this? Are they uh, Radiant is always going to be electric. Right? Mm -mm, these it's are not, gas. Both of them are gas? Or propane, yeah. Gas or propane. Well, I have My opinion is don't do either of these then. Yeah. What's, what's your opinion? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should... This is what the Building Science Corporation refers to as the Kevorkian option of putting <laughs> uh, putting uh, unvented, uh, unvented gas appliances so that's the problem in a here, closed right? space. So there are vented models. Uh, and so this is a vented one we're showing. Mm -hmm. This is an unvented... So that means that the combustion gases are just blown into the room as right. part of it. And the, all of this nonsense about like... Or this is actually the unvented one and the other one is vented. So you can get them both, but you don't want an unvented one for... Well, yeah, I mean, these the people are, are, you know, the companies that sell them are like, well, they're perfectly safe. They have, they CO, have these, they have these CO, sensors that CO will shut sensors. them off if yeah. the oxygen dips down. It's like, well, well, there's no magic involved. You're burning fuel. <laughs> it's going somewhere. In your lungs. Yeah, so yeah. like... Unless you're proving to me that somehow you've solved that problem, there's combustion byproducts in my house. Yes. Yeah. Or in my garage in this case. And uh, they're outlawed in like, in like several states. You can't put them in Canada. I will, I will read you a list. Of, yeah. This is the, the most recent that I've read. It's They're outlawed in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. In the U.S., it's illegal. In California and Montana, Minnesota has a statewide ban prohibiting them in any home built after 1980. And then you have countywide bans in Arizona, Colorado, Washington, Kansas, Wyoming, Ohio, Michigan, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nevada, New Mexico, Alaska, <laughs> Minnesota, Texas, and New Hampshire. I mean, if they're banned in Australia, that tells you something because everything there Montana. Could kill <laughs> it's banned in Montana. Yeah, I mean, it's like there's no never buy this. Yeah. Even in your garage, like which, unless you're unless you're willing to leave a window open while you're heating. Which is, but the moisture is still which a case, problem. Go with the radiant. But the, well, then you have the window open. <laughs> yeah. So it's partially, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Just get an electric resistance heater, or a gas heater that's vented, right? Yes. That's. But I mean, if this guy's, ta I mean, what wasn't clear to me, and what's not clear because I don't know enough about these heaters, is this a portable unit we're talking about? No, it's it it's, like it's kind of it's, okay. It's screwed to the ceiling, so, and you don't take it out. So up at our up our project house we used to have here, we had an electric resistance yes. heater that was like the ones you'd see in a big box store or, you know, pointing down at the cashiers and at the door. Totally. And it was just a giant radiant electric heater with a fan. It was like a giant toaster. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that is loud and, and sucks up watts. I but understand. Won't it, kill you. It, yeah. You want might not want that because electricity might be too expensive, right? So you can get a similar thing that is vented, that is gas, yep. that'll do the same thing. I would also consider a mini split, like we're totally. always suggesting. Um, I'm getting one for my garage. That's my plan. I use so, a wood stove right now. How, how much is that, though? This thing is like 150 bucks or I something know, like that. What it he is, was looking at? Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. is really cheap. It's pretty cheap. And yeah. that is a, a plus, right? Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the thing he asked, he's going to keep the thing in the 40s or low 50s, so... Um, you're going to want something that heats the air because uh, a radiant type heater is not going to heat the things fast enough for you to get comfortable. So you, you want yeah. something to heat the that's, air. Yeah. That's the downsize with the wood stove. It's like you could have that thing on cranking up the air at 80 all day and the table saw is table still, top is still ice cold. And you, so you still got risk of condensation everywhere. Yeah, it's not. So I, you might want to keep it just a little warmer. Um, I think in the 50s, you'll definitely solve the condensation, condensation problem. Carhartt. Insulated bib overalls are, are a godsend. Yeah. By the way, 
where uh, Carl yeah. Patrick's whatever M12 M18 heated jacket. That's something else, and that is way. It's actually probably more expensive than the gas space yeah, heater. I think yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I have the Dewalt. It's awesome. Yeah. That was a good question. But yeah, don't kill yourself. It's not worth one hundred and fifty dollars. It's not worth the savings. Isn't it amazing that we still sell these in this country? It is. A, I wrote about this topic years ago, and it was my first year at the magazine. And we did this department called What's the Difference? When was that, Justin? Just to say that like this conversation has been going on for how many years? That was two th- We wrote it in two thousand five. Um, and I remember really, really stressing over this thing because it was like, we didn't have a lot of space and we had to be kind of fair and balanced. So we presented <laughs> <is> the balance. <laughs> well, we, well, they sell them and people, people are yeah. buying them. So, yeah. so we needed to present it. Right. So we talked about vent free. We talked about ventless and it went out the door. As soon as it went out to the readers, the first letter we got back was from somebody from the vent free mm-hmm. Like uh, you know, associate you know, trade association totally pissed off sure. that we that that we didn't give them like the the right we didn't we didn't we didn't mention all of the safety systems they have in place that will save you and all this stuff. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna get fired. Then the second letter we get in is from somebody who's pissed off that we even bothered to talk about them. Ventless, and I'm sitting there, and I'm the editor at the time, Kevin, comes in. And he's standing there looking at the two letters, and I'm just sitting there squirming. <laughs> and he reads them both, and he looks at me and goes, goes "Good job." Looks, yep, looks like we did our job, <laughs> yeah. and that was it. And it's, you know, so this has been going on for a long time. Yeah. Back then, they were outlawed in California, at least. I don't remember the rest of the details, but so my first discussion with this was in the early '90s when we were talking about. Um, so I was working for Habitat for Humanity at the time as a construction supervisor, and we were we've always put had always put gas ranges in because they're way less expensive to operate for people than electricity. But the conversation was, you know, most gas ranges are not vented to the outside. So mm-hmm. the question was, should we be doing this? And so that was uh, my first introduction to the topic. So it's Yeah, we're still doing it with, with gas stoves on the regular. Yeah. I mean, hopefully people have a range hood that they're using with their gas stove, but you don't have to, right? Yeah, I... I'm able to switch to gas. I have electric right now, and I'm able to switch to gas, and I go back and forth because there's something nice about a gas stove. Oh, yeah. But I also don't want to turn on a range hood every time I'm cooking something. Right. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm, con- convective is really interesting to me, the convective technology. Yeah. That, You're talking about a uh, cooktop. Yeah. Did I yeah. say conve- conduction? Conduction. Right? Induction. Yeah. induction. Induction. Yeah. Is it induction? In- induction. I think it's induction. All right. Convection Where, like, is a uh, That's what I said. I said induction. Yeah. You guys just heard me wrong. <laughs> um, those are super cool. Yeah. They're still super expensive. Yes. But super cool. I've never cooked on one, so I'd love to try it. It's we have got, a... They got like that sensing technique. You can just like put it wherever you want on the cooktop, and it'll just like you just rearrange all your pots and pans, and it'll hmm. just like, oh, you, know, you got a pot here? I'll cook here. And it won't burn you. Yeah, right? and you can touch it. It's yeah. not hot. How does that work? Because it like excites the electrons in a pot or something. Yeah. With what? A little song? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Things. It's a, it's a small world. It does a little dance for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>